Okay, some general notes. There are no prerequisites for enrolment in any of the levels. So that means that if you decide tomorrow that you're going to sit for the licentiate uh, this year, then you can do that and I'll be delighted to examine you. <laughs> um, uh, so no prerequisites. Uh, again, I want to just uh, reiterate what I said before, that uh, you will do your students a disservice if you assume that grade six in the singing syllabus or grade three in the leisure syllabus means grade three and grade six in the music musical theatre syllabus. Uh, please, please, please go away and, and have a look. Um, uh, you will find that musical theatre, and I, I don't say this um, to... I, I, I just say this as honestly as I can. The musical theatre syllabus is significantly harder than the leisure syllabus. It's significantly harder. So I, I really urge you to look carefully, explain that to your students so that they understand why you might be taking them back a step uh, and explain the extra things that involve. When we get to the vocalises, you'll understand and the technical work you'll, and the repertoire, you'll understand why. Everything from memory, which of course is just standard musical theatre practice. Um, we Musical theatre performers don't ever use a, a book for anything that they do. It's always from memory, um, except for the short technical exercises which we'll cover in the second session. Um, everything else from memory. You can use your book for the technical exercises. As I mentioned before, no costuming, no props whatsoever. I'll say it one more time. No costuming, no props. Why? Because if you remember, the heart of the syllabus was truthful storytelling. So we want the students to stand up with nothing except this and their voice, piano, a room, somebody looking at them, and to deliver a story as truthfully and as honestly and as simply as they possibly can. That's the heart of the syllabus. Age guidelines. Um, uh, uh, this was he he heavily discussed and... Uh, I I'm going to say that uh, uh, I didn't agree with where the committee came down on this, but I absolutely understood the reasons and I'm going to explain those to you now. Um, uh, I didn't mind level two and three. It was level one that I had a slight issue with uh, because I, if a parent arrived at my door with a 10-year-old and wanted them to begin study, I would pretty much send them away with, hey, do piano for a while and some theory and musicianship, join a choir, you know, come back in a few years and, and uh, I'm all yours. Um, but of course, as you would have mum and dad at your door saying, Sophie's going to be a star <laughs> today. And I would say, I know that, but not today, in a few years. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. Anna on the committee felt very strongly about this and she did convince us. Her studio is predominantly that age group. And she felt that surely it would be better to have students uh, studying in a, in a program that was choosing a pro age appropriate repertoire and doing exercises that were appropriate rather than saying no to them and sending them off out into the world to somebody else who might not do those things. So she felt that surely, uh, you know, a good teacher might take two years to do grade one. And that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But surely that is better than sending them off out into the world. So that's the reason whether we agree or not, that was the reason uh, that that was there. Let me just highlight to you that that says guidelines. Only you know in the studio with a particular student standing in front of you what's appropriate for the student standing in front of you and only you can make that decision. I make decisions based on what I believe and what I've been taught and all those sorts of things. Um, but uh, that's the guideline. I also want to say to you, just as I mentioned before about the step up in repertoire at grade three and the difficulty of grade three, I also want to highlight to you that um, the repertoire from grade three starts to become dramatically much more complex. It requires an older person to understand it and to be able to deliver a, uh, something that which is convincing and dramatically. Does that make sense? Yeah. So again, in the list, as you will see later on, I've made sure that I've included a full range of repertoire so that for your literally, your young girl, you've got something. For your teenage guy, there's something. For your older woman or your older man who's come back to singing after years of not singing, there's something in there that they can sing. I also want to state really, really clearly that I was... Um, uh, 
I was very clear about including repertoire that older people could sing without feeling like an idiot. So I, I couldn't ask an older woman who's like, let's say, you know, 45 and she wants to, uh, for fun, just do some singing, that's great. Yes, I'll do some grades and she's doing grade two. Okay, but I'm not gonna ask her to sing Castle on a Cloud. I'm going to ask her to do something that's age appropriate for her, that's intelligent, that's going to allow her to do some dramatic work even at that younger level. Does that make sense? So in the list, you're going to see songs that are absolutely appropriate for a 12-year-old sitting right next to songs from Rent and Avenue Q and Spring Awakening, Chicago, and Book of Mormon. <laughs> and that's exactly as it should be. Not because I think that 12-year-olds should be singing that repertoire. That's for you to decide. But I've given you as much choice in the list that I can possibly pull together so that you can make the choice for the person standing in front of you that's correct. Does that make sense? Excellent. Excellent. Uh, the grade books, which you've seen, uh, run from preliminary to grade four. Preliminary grade one, grade two, it's the one book. Grade three and grade four divide into uh, uh, men's and women's or ladies and gentlemen's editions. Um, that was purely done for, for ease and I'll explain that a little bit more as we go along about, about that division. Uh, they don't run any further than grade four. There's been some discussion about possibly doing more beyond that but we'll see how these go and, um, uh, and whether or not I've made any friends and I'm prepared to add time to do that.